Now, South Africa has the smallest economy of the BRICS countries. Shanghai, well, its trade flows with some of the other members aren't hugely significant either. But investors have been studying consumer power, and they like what they see. Guy Henderson reports from Johannesburg. Some might spend it on an extra holiday. But Mimi Mavakali has chosen to pimp her pup instead. You won't find pet pampering on the consumer price index, but here's a quirkier indication of the rise in expendable income. Sprucing up Milo the toy Pomeranian is a weekly chore that, at a price, can be easily outsourced. I mean, we started with, if I can say, five clients, and then within six months we were fully booked. And every year we added three more employees and one more van. So three years later we have nine employees and three vans. So, yeah, it's been amazing. It's been very quick. <laughs> the sums are beginning to add up at the largest scale, too. This is the biggest single investment in central Johannesburg for generations. $120 million for what will be a 160,000 square metre shopping mall and office complex. There's been no significant investment in, the, in this part of town for, for decades. And uh, once we went to the retailers and told them of our idea that we got support from them. And uh, the support for, for building something of this size uh, was overwhelming. South Africa's black middle class is a $40 billion annual industry that's helping to regenerate the center of Johannesburg. But there are pitfalls to the predictions. For one thing, household saving rates are quite low and therefore debt is high. And another thing, unemployment in this country sits at around 25%. But for now, the boom continues. From its history of racial segregation, the market still can sit in pockets. But, say economists, that's changing fast. See a lot of places now becoming predominantly African. The middle of town, the CBDs have long been African. We're now seeing that move to the suburbs. Uh, we're certainly seeing a pickup in uh, many areas. I would say the southern part of Johannesburg is now by far ma uh, the majority black African. But as past boundaries continue to fade, the African consumer is transforming the economy. Guy Henderson, CCTV, Johannesburg, South Africa.